Hey everyone, Dean Bakari coming at you with today's wellness tip of the day. Now today's episode is going to be about gluten, gluten intolerance. Why is it such a rising concern for so many people over the last couple of years? Now let's talk about it. There's a small per a percentage of the population that has celiac disease. Now celiac is a severe, severe gluten intolerance, meaning it affects the quality of the life of individuals that have been diagnosed with it. Now. On the other end of the spectrum, about 20 million people in the U.S. Uh, have been estimated by physicians to have a slight to moderate gluten intolerance, meaning that although they might not have full-blown celiacs, they do experience things like bloating, fatigue, and digestive problems um, as a result of eating gluten-containing foods, which is the bucket that I fall into personally. And I, over the last couple of years, ever since I've uh, eliminated gluten completely from my diet, it has dramatically, I mean dramatically changed the quality of my life. So let's talk about what gluten is, give you some examples. Now most breads contain gluten. It gives it that uh, chewy, you know, nice chewy texture that you, that you get when you bite into bread. And uh, the baking of wheat bread, for example, depends entirely on its gluten content. Wheat itself has three layers. It's got the bran, it's got the uh, enrosperm, and then it's also got nutrient-rich germ, all of which contains starch and proteins. The most important proteins in wheat are the glutens. And those are the same proteins that you'll also find in rye, the same proteins that you'll also find in barley. And uh, what other examples, aside from bread, aside from every single, almost every single type of bread on the shelf uh, at the grocery store, unless it contains a gluten-free label on it, will have gluten in it. Another example, a huge example of what many people eat um, is cereal. Most cereals contain gluten in it as well. So a lot of foods that you eat on a daily basis that might be in your pantry right now have gluten in them, but not all of them. Not all grains contain gluten. What are some examples of gluten-free grains? Now things like wild rice, brown rice, corn, buckwheat, millet, uh, amaranth, quinoa, None of those have uh, gluten in them. Teff, that has no gluten in it. Oats, don't have to worry about that either, unless of course it's cross-contaminated, uh, but that's typically not a problem for many. Soybeans, you can eat that as well if you're looking into gluten intolerance or you feel like you have it, and uh, sunflower seeds as well. So those are all gonna be you know, completely, that's the green light right there. You can go with those and they don't have any gluten in them at all. Um, now, if you'd like a more detailed list and you want even more information, including my gluten-free shopping list, then uh, check out my blog. Check out the, uh, click the link below, subscribe to my newsletter. I'll send that to you completely free. Subscribe to my channel for more information on gluten-free um, lifestyle and how to live it. And uh, shoot me an email if you have any questions whatsoever. Info at wellnesswithdean.com. And please remember to comment below and like the video as well. That's your wellness tip for the day. Thanks for tuning in, guys. My name's Dean Bakari, and I'll see you next time right here.